Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we started to build up our fleet by defeating some fleets, some other fleets, uh, and we also ran into Catalina who auto asked out on a date and now they're going to have a spot of tea. That's why Catalina's music is playing in the background and not Otto's. Or the town music anyway. So she asked us to meet, uh, us to meet her at the cafe, so let's go do that. She might not be here yet. We'll see. Doesn't look like they've come yet. Hmm, it looks like she was chasing after that guy, Zhao. Yeah, if you remember a Catalina story. The most powerful family in Portugal. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, if they're against her, that can not be a good thing. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the story with this Zhao fellow? Hmm, apparently she's really mad at him. Miss Iranzo. Yeah, please call me Catalina. Why are you chasing this fellow? Revenge! Yes, those noble types are always bad news. Oh, wow. That's not a good thing. Wow, she's out to defeat the, the most powerful family in Portugal. I don't think anyone from the noble house of Franco would do such a thing. There's just one truth for me. Wow. Man, she's she's exiled herself. That's crazy. Dang, that's pretty nice. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. What will you do after you get your revenge? Perhaps we'll meet again. Wow. She's got quite a cold heart there. <laughs> yeah, apparently Otto didn't take into consideration what she was doing when he asked her out. Oh, well. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, anyways, so we've got a new ally. Well, I don't know if she's an ally, but we got a now a new way to tie our story together. So, okay. I think uh, I still need to... I still need to sell my ships and um, invest in the sport. So I'm going to do that. I'll do that off the screen, and I'll meet you guys back on the high seas. Okay, we're back and we sold our ships. As you remember, uh, King Henry of England is looking for us. So uh, let's go find out what he wants. Okay, we'll let him go for now. Uh, Portuguese, yeah, we'll let him go. What do we got here? Oh, Spanish battle fleet. Yep, let me win this battle real quick and be right back. Okay, folks, we're back. Sorry about that. I also went into Suda there and sold all my ships. So, oh, pirates. Okay, this is a, uh, I'm going to show you this. So this is a Portuguese merchant fleet, supposedly, but they're really pirates. They're Caribbean pirates, and they only show up in this part of the, of the uh, country, or this part of the world, rather, very early in the game. So it's a good idea to take them out now. Um, I'm going to do this really quickly just because, and I don't need to sell my ships, actually, because I'm actually doing good on money. So I'm going to take this guy out real quick and be right back. All right, we took care of that. We're just going to hang out for a little bit because there's going to be some more pirates that show up, and we just want to take them all out in one kind of one fell swoop there. Um, so we're just going to hang out here. There might be some more guys for us to defeat, too. The king is supposedly looking for us, so we should... Okay, let's see who we got here. Who's that? Uh-oh, he's probably looking for us. He's probably looking for us to attack us, would be my guess. Let's find out, because he's, he's acting very strangely. Thomas of England? Well, I don't think we can allow that, now can we? Defend our country at all costs. Um, one thing I forgot to do is I always want to do my rations here. You only need about 90% of your food to survive, and uh, you can find water along the way, so that's really not so bad. Well, you know what, those fleets will show up, we'll probably run into some as we go. So we're going to start heading back to England. And we're not going to worry about that fleet right now. That's a Portuguese fleet. Let's see who we got here. Yep, there's another one. Um, this is Pierre Lugolin, another uh, Caribbean pirate. So let me uh, take care of this real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, took care of that. Continuing to head back towards England. And we'll, keep, we'll defeat some more Caribbean pirates and more guys later on. Hey, the port of Nantes, all right? 
Okay, that's probably just a British fleet. Not going to worry too much about that. Okay, and we made it here to London. Okay, very cool. Well, it's been a while, so let's go see what the king wants. We're doing really good on fame and piracy. we got 15,000 fame. My goal, viewers, is to try and finish this uh, thing in 10 episodes or less. And I really think I can do it. Um, we'll just see how the game goes. It might take me 11 or 12, but... Okay, let's see what the king wants. Okay, what can we do for us? Ah, they're being tormented by the Spanish. Well, we need to take, take them out. Yes, we can defeat the Spanish. No problem. Let's see if they'll give us money for that. Nope, not yet. Okay, so basically we have to go defeat the Spanish, which we've been doing anyway. So, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, when you're here in these big ports, you want to start checking for Venetians, because we've made a lot of money defeating fleets, and see, we got 58 gold bars already. So I definitely think it's time for us to upgrade to a Venetian. We just got to try and find one. And there's one right there. Excellent. Very good. I will buy this one, yes. And uh, I need to know how much to negotiate. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to get a bookkeeper going. And we want to make sure that, that uh, we only have one person that can be our bookkeeper right now, and that's Antoine. So he'll be able to tell us how much we can get, the best deal we can get on the ship. So we're going to do that. And get our Venetian here. So, yes, I will buy that one. Mm, 54039. Okay, no problem. Because this is going to allow us to build our, our fleet up. Okay, cool. Time to name your ship. Okay, and this isn't going to be our main ship, so we'll just call it BC for now. And don't forget to hire a crew in that cafe. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer my crew to my old ship. And also my cargo. And then we also need to go to the cafe and recruit some crew. So um, I will stay I will um, stay in the inn. Actually, I'm going to go to the cafe and recruit some crew. I'll show you how to do that. I should have time to show you that. Um, I, most of you guys have seen this before. I forgot to sell my ship. I'll do that off screen. Okay, so we're going to go here. Oh, well, who do we have here? Don't you all agree? Yes, we do. Give me some of your best tea. I'll take my usual lard bun. <laughs> nice. Three orders and five pieces of apple pie. Don't you have any exciting stories? Well, who's this? Well, I have some exciting stories. Well, how about that? Pietro Cotti, an, an adventurer. Ooh, exciting. You sound like a liar to me. Well, that isn't very nice. Yes, Matthew, let's have some politeness for the Italian, especially with one with such nice music. A grave robber? Wow, that's kind of rude. To that Turkish fellow over there. Well, that's actually Ali. Uh, okay. What are we going to do? How much do you want? Yes. I owe that guy 10,000 gold pieces. All right, sure, why not? Now listen up. There's a Spanish frigate headed for Seville. Ooh, loaded to the brim with gold from the New World. Okay, we'll pay. Why not? A sailor called Esteban Ortega is at the helm, okay? So if we take him out, we're going to get a bunch of money. Excellent. That only costs us 10 gold bars, but we get to listen to this nice music. Okay, let's see. Have we been to Dublin? Nope, we haven't been there yet, but we will. So, Okay, 144 guys. Yeah, we're going to need them all. And, uh, actually, we, sh we shouldn't need all of them. We'll dismiss the rest. That's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to, uh, head out here, and, um, I'll be right back once I reassign some of my crew. Okay. Um, I actually, I'm going to show you how I'm going to reassign my crew here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I only need 20% on, on navigation, 5 for, uh, com or for lookout, and the rest for combat. So that'll be good. I'm going to need to go sell my old galleon. And then uh, we're going to start looking for Esteban Ortega. So, this is actually uh, good because we can defeat the Spanish and get some gold at the same time. So that'll be that'll be pretty neat. Okay, we're going to sell this nice new Spanish galleon. And that's fine. And cool. Oh, shoot. I forgot to transfer my cargo. Whoops. Oh, well. I can just buy some new stuff. That's okay. Okay, we're now in, we are doing really well. We've now got our Venetian, and we need to start building our fleet. So, 
Let's start, let's start looking for Esteban Ortega. See you on the high seas. Oh yeah, gotta supply my ship. Oops. We got a lot of money, we can afford it. Okay, folks, we're back. Turns out we're almost out of time, so I need to stop right here. Uh, before we go and defeat the Spanish, there's a few things that I'm going to do in the next episode. Uh, show you hiring some more guys and getting some new armor for us. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.